Gratitude to you, dear nature. Greenery covered by the shadow of clouds, rolling past the window of my train. I feel they talk to me aloud, asking me to stay as they await the rain. Lonely are perhaps the trees, struggling are the beautiful creatures. Am I feeling a connect which enables me to relate? Lonely am I and my soul feels locked. Will my stay here grant me some peace and help myself elate? This beauty experiences the sun rise and set. Creator himself cares to let them see the dark light and the wet. Where can I find these shades and feel my creator melt? Darkness and shadows engulf me. No light has gotten in lit. Plants do not move. They stay and long. Their hope lives and beliefs go strong. There, there is so much to learn from you, my dear nature. Nothing lasts and similarly, sorrows do not prolong. I wish to grow my faith like you do. Remain calm and wait for the Creator's actions too. Something feels positive now and makes me optimistic. No one to complain, but I have you to thank, no doubt. It's not new for me to long, to aspire. When days were meant to chirp around and live life, I was struggling to shoulder lesser responsibilities. When days meant only friends and fun with them all around, I was fighting to lessen burdens beyond my abilities. When time was for me to desire and demand anything, I was trying to realize how ends could meet with sureties. When days came to relish the success and enjoy, I was hoping to grab some happiness, but there were still uncertainties. When I was on the stage of realizing virtues like love and belonging, I was busy helping others and for myself arranging priorities. When I felt independent and self-sufficient to decide things, I was yet again laid back by extended responsibilities. It's not new for me to still desire. It's not new for me to face such twinge. It's not new for anyone to ignore my emotions and put them on fire. It's not new for me to console myself, sit back, watch the world and yet Aspire. Those were the last words I had. When I first saw a one-year-old lying on the road with a woman trying to encash people, I could only say, terrible. Those were the last words I had for the poor little child who knew nothing about anything happening around. When I first saw a blind man trying to help another blind man cross the road, I could only say, appreciable beyond words. Those were the last words I had for the extremely divine personality who seemed like a blessing on this sinful ground.
When I first saw the tiny child holding an old woman selling nuts on the bus stand, I could only say, God bless. Those were the last words I had for the highly sensible and sensitive behavior in the child that was found. Sometimes there are things which leave us thoughtful for all through our lives, but they become only memories and we have only to remember those were the last words that we had. The Sound Sometimes in my heart a sound creeps in. To convey something which though not clear is quite keen. Keenness which is not in me rather in the sound which though not understandable has some meaning profound. This is the language of the unknown, they say. But how strange is it that it is ready to, to let me stray? When in this world would I get substance to this strange sound? God gracious, maybe it will be the day when things would be solved and my eternal peace be found. If you could ever If you could ever understand my words, I would design them to always suit you. If you could ever hope for a better universe, I would put my own efforts to varnish it. If you could ever search for my happiness, I would never reveal before you my tears. If you could ever give meaning to my unsaid, I would let the silence prevail. If you could ever reach out for me in the darkness, I would brighten up the shed to lessen your pain. If you could ever cry for me in distress, I would never give path to my pains. If you could ever say, I care, I would never let my eyes catch anything else. Loneliness Loneliness, the word, defined by whom, christened by whom, appreciated by whom, Gifted by whom? Who is the power behind this word? God who created the mass? Society without interaction which cannot last? People who need relations and are interdependent for each task? None of these? Then which is the force that compels this phenomenon to boil? Is it the wind, air, fire, land or the soil? In my opinion, which may not hold true, the reason lies in the individual and his psyche too. It is a peculiar feeling that at times relieves, but a strange fear which can also bereave. So much confusion, then why to bother? Let the unknown be left unknown. For, like the individuals, every aspect of life may not revealingly be shown. Silence Silence speaks through the eyes. Words engulf the sight. Far beyond the horizon lies the truth, the reach which forever is mute. Discover the truth, I say, 
but don't always realize it. For tears in the eyes are for sure, because world around is for fantasies. With content of truth, hardly a bit. Truth is in emotions, feelings, mind and inner blow. Not in vision, voice, smell or show. But around me, I always see people with a positive glow who have within hatred, envy, annoyance, annoyance and disbelief though. Lord, please help me in this situation to cope, to live with solitude, with aims high and miraculous hope. This beautiful morning, rays of light slowly peeping in, it is that hour when the day begins, bringing along freshness and zeal, waking up to a new day full of hope and opportunities. Oh, how lovely is this feeling, breathing in the fresh and pure air thanking the Almighty for blessings of my share. Optimism resides in every moment. Here compassion and clarity are the best pair. Must make the most of today. Show gratitude, vitality and care. This is a beautiful morning. Blessed to hear the birds chirping. Actions towards goals have the right planning, clarity of mind and purity in thoughts bestowed are today the choicest blessings. Oh, there is so much more to this beautiful morning.